Hi, it's Handy Val. In this video, I will share my experience with a strange rattling sound on my Mercedes-Benz R129. The fix was cheap, it cost nothing. You'll never guess it. I'll tell you more about it. This rattle was strange indeed. You can hear it inside the car and also outside of the car. And it only occurred when the car was warm, typically in and around that 80 degrees Celsius mark. So on startup, and shortly after, I wouldn't hear anything. However, after a drive, and as I pulled into the garage, I could really hear it. Further, when driving, as I get to a street light stop, and I'm in between a car to my left and to my right, I can really hear that rattle sound. It concerned me, and obviously, I thought an expensive repair was in my future. However, when I try to investigate the rattle, I would put the car in park, open the hood and the sound would go away. I soon realized that I only heard it when the car was warmed up and only when the car was in drive. I soon found what the problem is and here it is. What the is this is a good question to ask. It's part of the exhaust heat shield that covers and wraps around the car's exhaust system. It's meant to keep the really hot exhaust system from touching high grasses and catching fire if you ever drove over a grassy field. I believe all, or at least most cars, have this exhaust heat shield, so it's not just Mercedes. Now this car I drive, it's spent its entire 30 year life in Canada. It's very clean and doesn't have any rust, but I can't be 100% certain that the car hasn't seen a few drives through snow or any salt infested roadways during any of the last 30 or so Canadian winters. This car has been rust proofed since new. However, the rust proof sprays do not remain on exhaust components for long as the heat from the exhaust melts the rust proof spray. So exhaust components are always prone and open to rusting. Also, the exhaust heat shield are generally prone to rust regardless if you're in, you know, the Canadian winters or the, you know, northern uh, US winters or not. So even if it hasn't been driven in snow, your car may have a problem with this. This exhaust shield is made up of a thin metal and in my case, through time, it has come undone. Take note, the car's exhaust system will still fully function with or without an exhaust shield. I'll show you where I found this piece. When the car is in drive and the brake pedal pressed down, I could actually see this part bouncing up and down where the exhaust pipe and the more sturdier parts of the exhaust shield lie. And to take it out, all I had to do is go in there, obviously when the car is hot, and pull it out. So it's actually right there in between here. As you can sort of see, here's the exhaust shield. Here's the actual piece of the exhaust, the muffler. This piece is solid. And there it is, it's kind of coming and done. So, I mean, I have an option here either. I mean, I just removed this piece and it, obviously my problem went away. I'm still gonna keep this. I mean, an option here is just to rip this thing off, get it new, or just, uh, or just keep it. Further, sometimes, depending on the, on the condition of your heat shield, you could actually get rocks somehow that may get themselves stuck in there and rattle up and down. That'll cause a rattle noise here too. So the lesson here is that a simple rattle can at times cost absolutely nothing to fix and can easily be fixed if you know what you're looking for. That's it for now, it's a short video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. If you haven't subscribed to my Handy Val channel on DIY step-by-step -step videos, please show your appreciation by subscribing. Also, don't forget to check my many other videos on Mercedes. Thanks for watching and bye for now, Handy Val.